for five years I've been telling people that there is a major problem with smoke alarms and people just simply don't believe it. And the reason is, is every time they burn the toast, their trusty ionisation smoke alarm goes off and then I come along and tell them that it's not going to go off in a real fight and it just doesn't make sense. So what we're going to show you today will unequivocally prove that ionisation smoke alarms do not detect the type of smoke and the type of fire that people get in their homes, the ones that kill the slow smouldering fires. Now, the really interesting thing is, is as we know, these things go off when we burn the toast, when you have a shower, they go off all the time, you have so many false alarms, which gives you a false sense of security because you think if you have a real fire, I'm talking a fire where you have real smoke, that this thing's going to detect the smoke. And it's these type of fires, the smouldering fires, these are the fires that often kill because often they happen at night when you're asleep. If they happen during the day, you're going to smell the smoke and get the fire out long before there's any danger. But if they happen at night, you're asleep and you've got no sense of smell, and that's when you're relying on your smoke alarm. And if this thing doesn't go off like you think, you're in big trouble. Now, this alarm here is an ionisation alarm, and we can tell that because we can see the radiation symbol on the back. What we're going to do, we're going to set up a real test with real smoke. And how we're going to do that is this soldering iron is actually on. We're going to insert this soldering on. This is just a standard piece of foam from a mattress. We're going to put the soldering on. We're going to bury it into the middle of this foam. We're going to put this into our aquarium. Now, this is going to take a while for the smoke to build up. And I'm going to put the lid on. So as we can see here, we've got the soldering iron and it's just starting to smoulder now. And you can see that smoke is just very slowly building up in the aquarium. And this is what happens at night and you're asleep. You're completely oblivious to this. It's not making any noise. And what it's doing, it's actually giving off carbon monoxide, which if you did happen to start breathing that in, that's going to make you drowsy and actually put you into a deeper sleep, which is why you need that early warning to wake you up so you can go and see what's happening. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to put this ionisation smoke alarm. We can see that it's working. We're going to put it straight into the smoke. You see it's working. We'll put it in here and see what happens. Okay, now there it is right in that smoke. So the smoke is that thick in there that you can hardly see my hand, yet um, the smoke alarm isn't making a sound. And if we recorded this for the next hour, what would happen is the smoke would get thicker and thicker and the alarm just won't go off. They do not detect smoke. They're not a smoke detector. They're a particle of, of combustion detector. They don't detect smoke. They never have and they never will. They're a defective device and the damn thing should be banned because your kid could be on that bed. And if your kid's on that bed, they're not going to wake up. Okay? So that's why you need the proper type of smoke alarm which is a photoelectric alarm which actually will detect smoke. These were designed to detect smoke. Ionisation alarms were designed to detect poisonous gas. They're not a smoke detector. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you what happens when we put a photoelectric... Oh, that smoke is revolting. A photoelectric alarm in there. And we can see... And you, the reason you notice that that photoelectric alarm has got a different sounding horn on it, so you can tell the difference between that and the ionisation. And actually that's at the lowest part of the box. And we can see that it's going off. And here we have the ionisation alarm which is higher up, which has got more smoke around it, and it's not making a sound. We've already heard the sound of the ionisation. It's not making a sound. And yet that's going off. So there it is, and it's not complicated. Your alarms either work or they don't. What we're looking at here is a photoelectric alarm that's going off and the ionisation alarm is silent. And while that alarm's silent, your child is on that bed sleeping. And the reason I've got this mask on, just the tiniest whiff of the smoke, it's horrific stuff. So your child's in there and the chances are, I'd say by now, that they're out to it. You need to get the right smoke alarm in your house to stop the children burning. After performing the World Fire Safety Foundation's aquarium test across America, numerous fire departments no longer recommend ionization smoke alarms.
There are three reasons why the ionisation smoke alarms should be banned. They don't work properly. They false alarm so frequently, people often disable them or even ignore them. And they contain a Mericium 241, which is highly radioactive and is a health risk.